Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gladly announcing this video is sponsored by Keen. So I really want to get into this. I'm just going to run bits and pieces that I want to share about Keen. I've heard about it many times, but I've never tried it myself. So the promo that I want you guys to take advantage of is 10 minutes for $1.99 and it's very cheap. So if you wanted to take this advantage, you can use a link and it's going to be somewhere right here and also in the description box below trykeen.com slash Brigitta. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of Keen already. When you go on Keen, you will notice there is a lot of psychics out there. So would you be looking for a psychic reading, for tarot reading, for astrology, for mediumships? It's all there. What I really like about that though, if you don't feel comfortable talking to someone on the phone, right? You can use the chat option. And that is something that I did. I was very, very keen on trying keen actually. And I have reached out to, um, I believe that person was a medium slash a psychic. I had a couple of questions that I wanted to ask. I know I'm psychic, right? <laughs> but the way this person did the reading, how quick the answers came through in that chat i was like how do you do this so instead of me really you know taking all the answers in i was like how do you do this like it's literally as if this person was just channeling doo -doo -doo -doo, and the answers were very straight to the point so for me i've seen a lot of psychic people right i've come across but that was quite an experience i must say if you've been drawn to it go ahead and take this promo because 10 minutes for 199 is really nothing and i actually been talking to a person for around 11 minutes i could get so much out of it it was just like confirmation after confirmation take a look at what kind of maybe psychic reading you want every person will have their own description you're gonna see which one you vibe with what i also like about it you can come back and kind of make a connection with a psychic all the description is going to be down below guys if you want to go and check it out i'm going to insert a clip to quickly show you what it looks like what I also guys want you to know about Keen is that there is a psychic available for you 24 seven. So in my case, it was 2 AM. It was quite convenient. I must say, then you would choose what type of uh, reading you would want. Would it be a love relationship? Would it be career? And what kind of reading really you want? Is it direct? Is it more gentle? Put in your name, surname and birthday. Click next. And it's pretty simple. It's going to be taking you to all the readers out there. So let's get into the reading. Hey guys, so back to the reading. Now I thought of the options that I wanted to give you because this reading is going to include my face, you want it or not. Some people complain, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You're gonna have to face that. And I thought of interesting options. You have been commenting on my candles on the channel. And if you have been here for a while, you know that my candles turn to waves and i'm grateful because this is partly of the meaning of this channel and the vibe of a channel which is aqua so i'll have three options today and what we're going to be looking at kind of what is happening right now with hints of the future so what's up with your life kind of thing you know and i think those readings can be quite healing and sometimes you might get confirmations from it so i'm gonna be very open to whatever will be coming through don't know how i'm gonna name this video just yet i'll figure it out later so the options that we have here today are brace yourselves <laughs> okay we have three candles to choose from i don't know where to put them on i'm gonna to have to show it to you one by one so option number one is is this candle that turned itself into a wave that's how it looks like. You might maybe want to look at the details of it. Does it remind you of something? Maybe the color, maybe the vibe of the whole thing. Then option number two is this candle right here. It's also transitioning into a wave. So look at the details. Is that pulling you in? And option number three is this candle right here that is also <laughs> turned into a wave and i haven't touched any of these candles 
It just happened that way. So truly take a moment and see which one of these candles that try to lift them up all at the same time is drawing your attention. And I'm going to see you in timestamps. Hello, pile number one. Whoever has chosen the first candle, let's see what we have for you. What is going on right now? What is up? Where should your attention be sitting? Don't know. I forgot English. So forgive me. Let's see. I'm going to start with uh, Rebecca Campbell's deck. And I want to tune into what is happening on the spiritual level first. So it can give you quite a lot of answers too. And we'll go from there. What is happening with pile number ones? What is happening with pile number ones? Let's let gravity do the work. Ooh. Okay, so this is strong and I'm pretty sure a lot of people might be fed up um, when this message comes up. We have, you got the love card and it says, now the light is quite intense, so I don't know how much you're going to really see this. Here we go. It says you got the love and it's Hedarian energy, codependency, boundaries. Now, your maybe boundaries might be threatened. Maybe that's something that you are working on right now. Maybe there is some kind of realization that came through and you're like, damn, you know what? I need to stand my ground. Maybe, um, I'm also hearing don't uh, lower your standards when it comes to work, when it comes to partnerships and kind of try to keep it true to yourself. And that's something that you might feel that you are challenged at of this moment. Let's pull from the magic of your oracle. Let's see. Let's get more in depth with this. I keep hearing keep being you, keep being you. So um, for some of you, you probably have encountered, especially lately, situations where you kind of have to, I'm hearing step up your game, but that stepping up your game for me, what it means here more so not losing yourself in maybe business, in responsibilities, in connections. Yeah, look at this image over here, you know, not losing yourself, knowing who you truly are. Let's see, what else? Yeah, we have Buho. Um, this card talks about transforming the way you see. So the way you used to see everything in your life, I'm hearing no more. There might be a lot of changes when it comes to you, like compare yourself you three or five years ago and how you are now how you see everything now there has been a massive transformation for pile number ones and i do believe that some of you probably had these challenging connections in your life where you truly had to stand and show your true self and for a lot of you it's to do with work and colleagues as well maybe bosses even or if you have your own business you know not putting your value down or knowing what you are worth really. So that's something that you're, I'm hearing higher self wants you to know. If you have worked already on this, this is your big pat on the back, you're doing really well. And there is almost like it's telling me to let you know that you need to stop and, and celebrate your new self in a way, who you are becoming as a person. Who you are becoming as a person let's see i'm gonna be using the urban deck what is happening with your life right now you are stepping into the abundance Ooh. Ooh. okay you're stepping into the abundance i'm gonna show you cards in a minute almost like you're finding through your authenticity through knowing where you should be going what decisions you should be making for yourself not listening to maybe what other people have to say Oh, this is big. This is big. You're stepping up your game. Look at this card right here. You see how she's stepping onto the, um, it seems like 
a staircase that is invisible but she knows that it's there almost like i trust that i'm stepping towards my victory this reminds me of six of um wands in a regular deck very much this is the judgment card in the urban tarot she's like I, I don't even need to know where i'm going i know that i'm stepping into this wealth this happiness and abundance however it is related to your situation what is it that you're looking for right now right and now next to it what we have is the ten of pentacles in this deck it's called wealth let me try to focus as much as i can you can vaguely see the writing over here Maybe some of you have a connection to jewelry somehow here, but this is going to be a minority. I'm just going to have to play with the phone today. I, I see, I see. And overall, this, this is quite an important pile, I must say. The way you used to see yourself and the value you put on yourself in the past and the way you are seeing yourself now or in the very near future, there is a very big contrast between those two. And the moment you realize that is when everything starts flowing to you naturally. You might meet people um, who are on a similar path, who have the same values. You will probably start seeing your career or your life path might, might be uh, very clear to you what it is that you want to do. And it does seem like, I must say for one or two of you, um, if you have lost an animal, it's um, it became your spirit guide. So this is quite beautiful. Because if you look at the universe card, what I'm paying attention to, you see that cat in the corner over there? She's observing this woman stepping her game up in a way. You know, and for me, the, when I saw that cat, I was like, this is your spirit animal, but that's the one that you used to have. Oh, and I'm getting shivers with this one. Okay. What's up? What not to overly focus on right now? What needs to go, pile number one? What needs to go? Okay, one more. What needs to go? Don't force things, I'm hearing. Don't force things. You know, I'm gonna give you an example. Um, it's gonna be a very si silly example, I must tell you. Um, like let's say someone who a younger person let's say maybe your child even who says to you you know I really don't want to eat but you are forcing them to eat you have to you have to right so it would the same would go for maybe a job you know forcing that career to work when you see that is not it's it's somehow some parts of it or maybe the way you go about it there is some kind of a stop for you so it's saying pull push pull away and look at this from different perspectives what having to try just yet don't force things to happen right that's what i'm seeing with the strength over here almost like she's forcing that lion right and that's usually not how i see the strength card but in this case i do and now again, I mean, there is some kind of spirit animal that is very connected to you here. This is beautiful to see. In the full card, we do have a guy and there is a, a dog here. He's about to leap, right? For some of you right now, um, it's time for a bit of more contemplation. If you feel like you are rushing into something, to jump into something too quickly, your intuition goes like, I kind of want to do it, but I mm, feel like I need to wait. Probably you do. And this is for those who are feeling that intuitively, like probably need to wait a little bit when making this decision or when jumping into something that I'm unfamiliar with just yet so this is the time of almost I want to say neutrality where um, take some time for yourself to truly realize how far you've come and almost like put all dots on eyes I'm hearing before you start taking next steps for some of you it might be as simple as taking time to contemplate or regenerate i'm hearing because what is coming for you is going to going to be asking quite a lot of energy uh, and right now maybe it's time for gathering that energy before you take that leap because what's waiting for you is ten of um, pentacles together with the judgment this is going to be big it's going to require a lot of 
um, investment I'm hearing for some of you? Would it be energetic investment? Would it be maybe for some of you financial investment or time? You know, in some cases, don't pay attention to that light just happens. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, me and technology, we we not friends. We are, but, you know, it just doesn't listen to me. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what else here. Why are you stepping into pile number one? There is going to be a really big creative time for you. And the idea that you may have right now are going to be coming to fruition with this. This is the Queen of Swords, which is very interesting. In this deck, the Queen of Swords is very creative. The way that I see her, take a look. You see, she's looking, um, she has a canvas and she's thinking, yes, there is a sword next to her. But she's like, hmm, what is it that I want? And she's got a, a crown on top, which I'm paying attention to over here. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people watching panel number ones would be quite influential to big, bigger groups of people. Or if you did have, for example, your own business, you'd have a lot of clients. There's groups, big groups of people um, coming towards you. And it feels like before you take the next step or a big step rather than next step, you are going to be contemplating on how you want to structure this plan of yours, the goal I'm hearing. How do you want to structure it? What's needed? What is extra? What can I put into it? You know, a lot of questions. And this is not to say that you don't think that you are wasting time. This is going to be a really precious time for you to come up with better, bigger ideas or maybe some kind of adjustments that is going to make this um, goal of yours even more fulfilling for you, okay? Okay, anything else that pal one needs to know about? Give me a moment, give me a moment. What do you need to know about? I need to clarify this time. What do you need to know about? Sorry guys, one second, one second. Mixed messages here, mixed messages here, okay? <laughs> Why I wanna giggle? Why I wanna giggle? Uh, I must say that there is someone out there who would gladly score you. That's, that's, that's what, I'm, what I'm seeing. Why, why? Look, we're starting with the Six of Cups. In this deck, Six of Cups is very different from any other deck. Let me, please, dim the slide a bit see that then i was like okay let's clarify that then we have the knight of swords in this deck he's a game master he knows how to play play his game right see that very strategic he's like hmm how do i make this work and then the four of swords in this deck is also very different and i tend to read decks by their own personalities i want to score this so i must say as uh, someone would really want your company uh, would you take that company? Would you not? It's completely up to you. If you do feel like letting go um, and getting loose, you know, <laughs> why did I express myself such way? This is the way I talk to my friends, so it's just coming through. But almost like let your hair down. If you would want to let your hair down, there would be an opportunity for you there, okay? You can score yourself. <laughs> That's something that you're looking for. This escalated quite quickly from a really serious reading to something that has a hit of hint of fun. And as I'm saying fun, we have the seducer card coming up. See what I mean? So I think for some of you, this might be almost a hint saying, when was the last time you actually had fun? However you imagine having fun. Some people maybe have been too uh, serious or too closed off for, you know, partnerships or they would uh, take um, the way they would approach other people. Would it be romantic partners or people that they meet? It would be very business-like, for example, a bit like an interview, you know, do I want them? Are they a good match for me in the long run? Um, and this message more so comes through as 
Uh, but you can also have fun, you know, you can have the connection that lifts your spirits, maybe go on a date, maybe meet, meet someone, kind of broaden your horizon, especially if you have been stuck on a project of some sort or you've been stuck on self-development. Now, it's really good to go through all the self-development and, you know, spirituality and all of that stuff. But what I notice, people tend to get lost in it and then they don't allow anyone in whatsoever. They're like, I don't want anyone. I'm good, you know. I don't want anyone unless they are, you know, 100% right for me. But what if people that you meet along the way or you go, you know, on a date with someone, you know, those people have something maybe to show you maybe the feelings that you have in you that you didn't even think you had maybe your personality traits maybe you thought that you're all about you know you're very serious you just want that you know and nothing else but what if you meet someone if you're open to it and you have the best uh, time of your life you know and you're like oh um, there is a bit of you know in a child coming forward I used to do that when I was younger you know I forgot how to have fun so to wrap this message up would be like don't forget have to forget how to have fun or to please yourself so however that pleasure comes through for you it doesn't have to be uh sexual it doesn't have to be only romance it can be as simple as um i don't know going on some kind of a trip with your girls you know or having girls night which maybe you haven't had for a while or um, having a cheat meal that you were very uh, serious about that you're not gonna have it you know it's just having that balance really you know um, let yourself shine in a way keep your boundaries straight especially those who know that you get wrapped up in romantic situations and you know that okay I can go and have fun or I can go on a date but I get emotionally too attached then this advice for you or this message for you can be quite difficult but maybe that's something that you're being taught as well you know how to just be without over analyzing overthinking but overall this is quite a sweet pile there's a bit of both there is that hint of you know being visible in the future and doing big things especially with the ten of pentacles here um building your foundation but not only foundation your own heritage in a way that's what is happening in the future and also it's saying but while doing that don't forget how to have fun right and that's all about balance it's all about balance so let's pull a card for you as advice pile number one i don't want to use this ocean deck that i haven't used for a while now is there any any message that pile number one needs to know about is there anything else it can be completely unrelated to what we talked about maybe something that i haven't mentioned just yet Okay, is there anything else pile number one needs to know about? All right, all right. We have take note. So that would be about, no, uh, about uh, noting things down. Writing for some of you might be quite important. And the message that it holds, that's how it looks like, by the way. It's quite a beautiful color scheme. It says, your answers are being given to you. Quieten external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. And you know what I've put this card with in my mind straight away is the um, one from the Rebecca Campbell deck. Um, quieting external voices will allow you to hear what is being said to you. Because when you are very focused on all the other energies or other people, or overly invested in things that are outside of you, you might very well lose um, that sense of intuition in a way because you're like you're so out there that you're not here. And for you, it's saying take note what your inner self is telling you about situations. And I call it zeroing yourself. And zeroing yourself um, is almost like taking a moment for, for yourself throughout the day just to sit with yourself and say, okay, how am I feeling? Check, check on yourself, you know? How am I feeling? Not thinking about what is happening, right? But how am I, in a way? 
And then how do I feel about this situation if you have a particular question, right? How does my body feel? Your intuition works through bodily sensations. So your, your body either is very drawn to something or you feel like you want to take a step back, right? That's how subtle it is. So that is the message for pile number one. I do hope that this was helpful and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pal too. So whoever has chosen this candle right here, let's see what is up. What is up with pile number two? I'm going to start with energy checkup. First of all, let's see what might be happening right now with you. Is there anything that you might need to know about? What is up with pile number two? I must stop here because I did have a vision that I want to really talk about. This is for one or two of you out there. So please, if that's not yours, leave it for someone out there. Uh, someone's grandma came through. Overall, you know, it felt like a motherly, grandmotherly feeling. So it can be either grandma or someone who, um, who was very caring. But this is the feminine energy. Would it be a mom, grandma, maybe aunt for some of you? Um, and... I was shown a pink flower and a very innocent looking one. So every time I get it, it's almost like an acknowledgement for you to say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm there. But that flower also for me is a connection of femininity, you know. I, I got you kind of thing, you know. I, especially if, you, if you're going through something right now where you need that motherly care, that is a message for you, you know, I'm there, I'm there. Oh, and now I'm looking at the screen and I have flowers all over it, nice, okay. Because I have meditation music that's changing scenes. Okay, let's see, what is up with pile number two? Um, I think a lot of you are healing your hearts. Oh, and we have a pink flower right here at the bottom. Oh, and up there. Okay, so it makes sense. Let me show you that. I know the lights are quite intense and it doesn't focus when I'm up close. Um, it's more visible when it's focused. We have flowers up here. And we have the pink flower here. There is references to flower here. So it's just a confirmation for some of you out there that the message came through. But overall, uh, it seems like the cosmic heart for me, it, every time I look at it, it tells me that someone is healing their, um, almost like um, learning how to be a little bit more vulnerable. Because for some people it might be difficult to do so, you know, trusting that being vulnerable is okay and it's actually a strength instead of closing others off in a way for some others of you uh, you should pat yourself on the back because you have gone through some kind of relationship trauma or you did have quite difficult relationships in the past and now is the time when you are slowly healing that past yeah it's all about the heart look at this in two cards we have the light coming through the chest the most right and almost this person is like she's surrendering like okay tell me what it is that needs to be done what else needs to be focused on but this is a surrendering card in a way and the child of the cosmos tells me that a lot of you guys um, probably haven't really discovered how much potential you still have in you because you have this ancient intelligence to you so your soul has been doing things that you're probably trying to achieve in this lifetime many lifetimes before so there's almost like a message for some of you out there you have been doing this for lifetimes if you are very drawn to specific thing project 
um, life path, maybe um, connection is also there for some of you. It's saying you've done it before. There is nothing for you to, to be afraid of. Because at the bottom of the child of a cosmos, it says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. And that's something for you to understand. Those who have gone through this shift and you know that already, you probably have noticed how your senses have heightened. Your probably intuition is uh, on peak, right? Your gut feeling is, uh, is on point. But also the talents and the abilities that you have started shining through you in a way. So I wouldn't be surprised if pile number two people have discovered some kind of talents that were within you throughout time. Bringing, bringing in a child out too, you know, nurturing that kid of yours, um, what you used to love doing, and maybe you are rediscovering those things again. You take an interest in what used to make you happy, or that's where your focus could be in the near future. Let's see what is up, pile number two. What's going on in your life now, right now that you might not even see or notice? What is going on in your life right now? I must say, this is a strange message to get in a, in a quite a serious start. Someone is stalking you on social media. I'm gonna show you cards in a minute. It almost seems like you put in an end to a person, even if that's not like a social media stalking. You put in an end to observing someone or someone observing you. You're like, I'm not gonna follow this person anymore. I'm not going to overly uh, look into their their business. Why I'm saying you are done with it, or this other person is done with it, because we have a tower next to it. I'm gonna let it sink, you know, it's enough kind of thing. Because I sat there for too many nights for too long, and probably it wasn't something that was helpful for me. And now we have the Ace of Pentacles here. You are focusing more so on a new fresh start. So this is quite a, quite a specific story here. I don't know how that's gonna relate to all of you guys. Uh, but I hope that this message find those who needs to hear that because it seems like there's a lot of story behind what I said What is happening pile number two What is happening Okay. Now there is another story here and quite an important one because I'm pulling cards on top of the other ones. Oof, you are rebuilding. You probably want to do that already. You almost like you want to demolish what you have created so far that you feel like it's not good enough. And you probably have been feeling up, um, like that for a while now with the two of ones here. I keep thinking about it, you know, I keep coming back to it. I think it's probably not for me or I could do better, right? Or I could have something or someone better than that. And it's almost like you are letting go. Next, the tower is being clarified here with the four of pentacles. I used to hold on to it. No more. And it does seem like the, uh, maybe for some of you there was some kind of maybe obsessive pattern or maybe someone else that we are talking about here where you continuously kept coming back to it or continued some kind of a pattern that wasn't the best for you. And you kind of internally felt like the change has to happen, but you knew that you had to make a decision yourself. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, well, damn. The new start, if you're afraid to let go of your past, would it be pattern, behaviors, would it be a job, would it be a person, whatever the case here, right? Um, remember that after that tower with the four of pentacles, what we have, your ace of pentacles, which is a new solid beginning, right? The pentacles, the ace of pentacles is all about 
the stability, right? This is something that has quite a lot of potential to grow. Uh, yes, it can be a little bit slower. It might need a bit more patience, but it's very stable. And then it's being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And in this deck, it's a wealth card. So if you feel like you want to make big changes in your life and you, your gut is saying to you, if I demolish that, I feel like there is going to be a new beginning that is going to be grand, that is going to be much bigger than I've imagined it. It probably will with the Ten of Pentacles, especially when it comes to building maybe um, a new stable life, however you see that, you know a new stable life yeah you know the foundation wasn't very i'm hearing it was shaky before and you know about it so you're gonna have to you know imagine how many people are watching this and um apply what is that shaky foundation for you what feels not 100 percent for you what is it what needs to change and you know about it because we have the ace of pence and the ten of pence here saying don't pay attention like me and tech you know electricity any of that just happens especially with this light here it turns off and it shouldn't <laughs> it wasn't planned to be so <laughs> but we friends with electricity it allows me to uh, put videos out <laughs> as well as tech on youtube but it just takes me a bit more time it's fine what should be uh, um, left behind right now or maybe not overly focused on for pile number two? Uh, for some of you, what you need to know, don't think that you are going to lose a game or don't think that you have lost a game of some sort. And for some others, it's, uh, you know, there might be a situation of you can win a war but are you sure you're going to win the battle you know it's a it's something about that here what needs to be not focused on or left behind is maybe over structuring things as well needing to know exactly how this will go okay Brigitte you told me about this new beginning that has a lot of potential I need to know exactly how that's gonna happen and that's what kind of mistakes a lot of people do it's about knowing the next step instead of the million steps ahead. Because what takes you further instead of procrastinating is just sitting down and saying, today I need to do this. I didn't know myself where, that I'm gonna be sitting here with you, um, giving you a reading like a couple of years ago. More than that, <laughs> more than that. Tara was always part of my life, but I never knew that I would say like, okay, sayonara architecture, here I, here I am, I'm going to be, be a spiritual teacher or read Tara online, right? I didn't know that. All I knew was that this was making me happy. And the more I got into it, the more it took me places. So that's how for you, it seems like the situation should be approached. Also, avoid conflicts overall. That's not something that is being helpful and uh, you don't have to prove your opinion to someone else that's for some of you out there you're gonna create more conflict um and uh more tension than i'm here and then you're gonna reach an actual conclusion right or yeah there's no conclusion it's like you know both people hold on to what it is that they want to believe in and it just ends up being like a tension between these two individuals that card wants to come up will take that yeah that's gonna be somehow imprisoning you or the other person there is no need to fight this is saying i don't know for who this is for there is no need to fight everything can be sorted out in a very um, graceful assertive and car calm calm manner also don't allow yourself to get stuck in, and I'm here in, in, uh, in the path that is not yours. And it has a connection with another person though. Let's talk about it. You know how I'm feeling about this? When someone meets a person, mm, they are with them for a really long time. And they start doing all the things 
that this other person likes and they forget about themselves what is my journey what am i doing where am i supposed to be right kind of following the path that is not um, yours it's fine to be with that person let's say in some cases if it's not something that is making you feel restricted in any way or you know makes you feel like a smaller person um, but you need to know that your path has to be embraced your individuality has to be embraced don't be small this is saying right you are equals and what's important for you should be also respected from the other side would it be any relationship really there has to be respect and there has to be equal interest in one another and things that both people do okay what's around the corner pile number two a new idea some of you will probably start maybe um, planning a trip for the future for yourself yeah because i'm really paying attention to that plane over there almost like you 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 are crossing the threshold here so that seems like someone is literally stepping onto a different land if you wanted to do that this is your message for sure what is around the corner pile number two Oh, this is nice. I like that. I love this. Look. Look at this high priestess in this deck. She's chilling. She's like, I'm in my vibe. A lot of you are becoming very intuitive. And there's going to be maybe some kind of a routine that you might want to have for yourself. Almost like a routine that feels very therapeutic. And allows you to ground yourself your intuition is going to be on point and i think for some of you maybe that's something that you have been looking for to develop that and it's going to take you places i wouldn't be surprised if someone has started um, some kind of a business already or if you do have your own spiritual business or you help other people out using your um, abilities that you have a lot of success around the corner but this is this is saying allow the journey to come in because i'm looking at the way she's laying there she's not rushing she's just there um she enjoys where she's at for some of you out there what you need to know now this is not for all of you um you are in need for a more balanced home environment and i think that's something that you might be looking into in the future in general a place for yourself i'm hearing a place for yourself where you can feel peaceful right where you can do things that you want to do where you feel comfortable where you have maybe your own corner your own room um overall and this is possible it's saying okay it's possible to feel that way just keep your eyes open Keep your eyes open six of wands here you go the winner card right <laughs> those who have been feeling like reaching your goal or your wish has been quite a journey it's not too far away from you guys with the six of wands here you're not too far away from that finish line the only thing to keep an eye on is restrictions coming from the outside of you. Um, the conflicts, the uh, oppression that we talked about, feeling like you are not able to express yourself or being or feeling like you can't be fully authentic that's something to watch out for and maybe that's something that you will want to clear in the future right so let's pull a message for you guys let's see what else is there for pile number two that i might have not touched on just yet or maybe something that you just need to know about and i'm hearing a confirmation so for some of you just might be a confirmation and you know about it 
I'm gonna be pulling from the ocean deck. Let's see. Let's let gravity do the work. Do you remember how I talked about hard heart at the very beginning? So that is a confirmation here. So that's how this card looks like. This reminds me of uh, three of cups. It says safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open. We talked about it. And uh, know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. Now, what stands out to me the most is listen to what you know to be true, right? Listen to those inner gut feelings here. And it's all about the heart for pile number two. So don't close yourself off. Don't build walls up, uh, right? Um, know when it's okay to be vulnerable. Obviously not in situations that are um, unhealthy. I'm not talking about those. But almost like you're learning how to open your heart up again. And I don't know what has happened in the past. But I do believe that some of you may have gone through quite a lot of trauma in your past relationships with either parents or your romantic partners and this is a moment when you are literally i think you might want to try the release meditation or however you want to do this that's helpful for you uh, maybe even it's funny we talked about it with my client today about restorative hypnosis maybe and if you need you know that deeper understanding you could try those things out some of you might be interested in past lives too because there is a lot that can come through and a lot of understanding you know a lot of fears might be coming through from the past life too but when it comes to past life i like to tell people i really love uh, past life though but take a look at what it is um that you are in need to heal or to understand or acknowledge from this lifetime first so that once you are aware of that when you'll be doing the past life reading everything will just make a lot of sense you know it will make sense either way but i think because you are in this lifetime it would be just fair to first off look at your family dynamic your past relationships and say hey okay i want to take a look at this i want to probably look into this maybe um i want to heal um, relationship with a mother with a father you know or i want to forgive someone or, for, or myself and then on top of that past life would be great to do but this is just maybe uh, if you have been thinking about it this is a message for you pal too you don't have to go ahead and start booking you know past life readings or um, regressions or uh, hypnosis here it's uh, it's just like an addition for some of you out there and maybe um you probably you probably have been looking into this for a while now and this is just a confirmation now that, that would be helpful so i hope that this made sense pal number two and i looked at the time for pal number two it was two 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 and i hope this means something to you and i'm going to catch you in the next one bye for now Hello, pal three people. So whoever has chosen this candle, let's see what is up. So first off, I'm going to be looking into the energies here. And I'm going to be using the Rebecca Campbell deck. By the way, the light behind me, right here, is going to switch off. And it should be like that. It should be working properly until I switch it off. But it's just being funny with me. Hmm. <laughs> like uh, tech in general with me right you know that already probably most of you let's see what is going on with pile number three. Ooh, this is intense but very good though when you're on this journey you might feel like things are up in the air uh, but usually when transformation happens um it happens that way and i'm gonna talk about certain things that might trigger some people so i'm just gonna put it out there uh, please apply these messages as you will um, it can be translated to your situation a bit differently the first card that came up is losing your grip card 
uh, that's how it looks like there is a person who is allowing everything to fall away what needs to fall away that's the way I, I look at this card but it also talks about addictions and coping mechanisms right so example if someone was um, if someone felt like there was lack of connection with their parents right they what you usually see if there wasn't enough of affection or the focus wasn't on that child I'm just gonna give you a very specific example please um, apply it or interpret it to your situation um, that child can grow up to be uh, very prone to addictions and addictions can be you know many things um, into um, it can be sex addicted to sex addicted to alcohol substances right um, gambling anything that really you know fulfills that drive you know that need there is a need to fulfill themselves um, that void so for some people you might be dealing with someone like that and maybe you didn't know why this person it is like they are and this is usually a wounded child someone who didn't have enough of something and therefore they when they grow up they try to fill that gap in right this is quite specific for some of you out there now for most of you what i'm picking up here you are letting losing that grip of who you used to be it seems like you used to be quite a tense person maybe you put a lot of pressure on yourself and you are like i gotta do this i gotta do that you know maybe addiction to work um perfectionism you know anything of that sort that wasn't helping you out maybe you felt a little bit you know intense you couldn't relax throughout day what you're stepping into here and i think a lot of you are already in this energy is becoming one with nature and nature has quite a big impact for pile number three i must say every time you feel like you need to recharge you probably go to nature if you haven't discovered that connection for yourself here just yet you're going to figure that out further on in your journey time in nature for those especially who like to run around or who need to keep themselves busy or you know do do do, do um very, um, I keep hearing, you know, machine-like. The time has come to stop and be still and to find a better way of a routine, a healthier routine. And that's something that you're being taught, pile number three. Uh, for some of you, water is quite important, you know, maybe floating in water, that's the way I see you, you know. Feel like your body needs to feel lighter. So have you put quite a lot of burdens on your shoulders? how can this vision of mine uh, work in your life that floating in water you know your your body is much lighter when you're in it right so what is it that can be helpful for you is is it some kind of a hobby that you feel like you want to take um, part in is it uh, some kind of a practice or is it just spending an hour outside switching off your phone uh, not looking at tech for an hour even if you're not in nature you know having those um, kind of I'd call them routines but those who are very important to the quality of your life and I think who you used to be before you are going to be no more and a lot of you have noticed that already oh my god like i hear someone say i used to be so stressed out all the time or i didn't trust where i was going now when i'm on this journey i'm just like okay let it i'm gonna let it go and i'll trust what needs to be done it's a lot to do with the body itself for pile number three uh, needing to make your body feel maybe healthier needing to make your body feel lighter you know don't put so much stress on your shoulders. How many tasks are you handling all at once, right? Even if you're not handling any tasks, even if you're just laying on the couch, on your bed, you're watching TV or you're watching um, something on YouTube, are you check on yourself now? Are you truly relaxed? Is your jaw tense? Are your shoulders tense, right? Are you fully enjoying this video as you watch it right now? Or 
are you still feeling a bit like uptight right and that's something for you to remind yourself pile number three throughout time and it has to become a discipline it's not you know you have done it once and okay I'm good you notice that those things like self-care it takes time and effort until it becomes a routine right so let's see what is up for pile number three yeah it's about it's a lot to do about body here though we I'm using the urban tarot so the um, cards speak the images speak for itself I read it from imagery mostly the knight of pants in this deck is a chef I think there is a need for you to focus on what it is that you consume as well remember we talked about um, coping mechanisms maybe some of you you somehow mother yourself or you soothe yourself through food so it's saying it's fine but what kind of food are you putting into your body right body as a temple for pile three is very very important because that is going to affect everything else in your life the way you feel emotionally um, how you communicate with others what ideas you have right how many ideas you have once you rested once you well I want to say well fed um, everything else just falls into place is much easier right okay let's see what is up have patience with yourself overall with the knight of uh, pentacles here yeah have patience with yourself one second i'm gonna show you cards in a minute what is up with pile number three yeah and it makes sense that the devil shows up here because we had the addiction references here what is it that makes you feel quite um you know what is it that ties you in it can be even someone else's addictions maybe you are somehow part of their life or maybe someone else's troubles that you are part of and you like oh but i keep, have to keep on helping this person and then it becomes your burden and you know each of us have our own lessons to deal with for you um, I am paying attention to it's saying there there is going to be a better structure and I keep wanting to say you know a healthier way of living would it be mentally would it be physically right it's one or the other here and it does seem like a lot of you are already in planning stages like okay how can I honor my body a bit more what what am I gonna cook today or how much stress am, am I going to allow to come on because for us to be stressed we first off have to allow the stress to come in right um, we get stressed because of the external it's funny because I've, I've pulled this card three times today for all three piles. We'll talk about it. This is very strong collective message. Um, it's okay. So the other person can be shouting at you, right? Your boss, for example, or someone else. Now it's up to you how much you allow yourself to be influenced by that. It's not about saying, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to get demonetized. I don't give an F, right? what you tell me or have an attitude towards that person who shot at you especially your boss it's about how you react internally right how do you you still listen you still answer to that person who is uh, very all over the place but how do you feel internally and how much do you allow the energy to come at you so that's something to pay attention to now it's interesting because we do have the wealth card pop out three times for all three piles here today quite an important message for you guys to know that you are gonna have your heritage built uh, this is about creating the life especially when it comes to material that you want but I think for pile number three before that what you're gonna be dealing with you will be facing the darkness and I think you have done it in many cases already you're like I know exactly what I need to do here and I've been working on it let's clarify the devil here and again the devil is clarified by the nine of cups which in this deck there are again references to food 
maybe you know the way it's coming through with the nine of cups here what you think is um is healthy for you or what makes you happy is actually not very healthy for you yeah what makes you happy or what it is that you crave for um, ask yourself is that actually something that is healthy for you and I think a lot of you have recognized that already is that um, an actual you know craving for sweets or is that a craving for a person or craving for um, maybe fixing someone or something that some kind of obsessive um, in some cases even pattern you know I gotta do this or I, 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 I don't pay attention to what I'm doing but I'm doing it repetitively right that's something that you should pay attention to but overall I'm picking up one more message here what you need to know is bye this is not a bad place to be in it might sound like a like a bad place to be in for some of you and especially once you're going through that but what is important here for you to realize that through recognizing your I call them if, if I was talking to a friend I call them my own demons if um, if you recognize what is your little demon there right would it be a craving of some sorts here you go. craving of some sorts would it be a, maybe addiction would it be a addictive thought pattern right like I keep talking to myself in a very negative way um, these are our little demons as I like to call them and this is saying it's not about getting don't pressure yourself to get rid of that demon right make it your friend understand how you need to live with it so i'm gonna give you a very simple example someone who's addicted to um, sweets right and it's um it's not about you know someone who just likes sweets you know someone who's truly addicted for example i did have a person who was very close to me mm, i still have them but um, we live in different places now where i'd open their drawer and the full drawer and it's a double drawer was full of sweets and they would just keep eating one after another right they don't even notice that they do it because it became a habit and what needs to be done here to recognize that little demon of yours <laughs> i like calling it little demons um and to say okay i can still have you you know you don't have to run i can still have you but less often right but less often because I know that it's something that is not the best for me. Same for the, you know, um, thinking patterns. When you maybe look at the mirror, sometimes people go like, okay, I, I look at the mirror and I know other people tell me that I look certain way, but I don't see it. I don't see it, right? And truly realizing what is it is it that that thought pattern that i'm not good enough is it you know um addiction is it something along those lines what you need to know why i talked about you know now um making your demon your friend and knowing how to deal with it you know not getting rid of it completely because um the um our dark our shadows um is is not about getting rid of them because the balance is made of the light and the dark, as you know already. It's about knowing how to work around them. And I think why people put so much pressure on themselves, and especially when they start, you know, maybe um, getting into spirituality and things like that, when they are still kind of new to it, they think that it's not okay to be not okay. That there is all about, you know, rainbows and all about, you know, butterflies and why is everyone so positive? And so, you know, it's all about this light, you know, and everyone sending light to one another. But I feel like shit, you know, and that that's what needs to be talked about more. So everyone has their own darkness, but they just um, learn how to cope with it. And it's not about it's never coming back. It's going to be there, but you're going to know um how far to keep it on a leash from you right so now why is why i talked about it a bit as you know knowing how to work with these energies and knowing how to cope with these things um, is because i've clarified the uh, cards with the last two cards devil and the nine of cups with the uh, three of pens right so this is collaboration knowing how to work 
uh, my two sides, the devil as well as the hap, the nine of pen. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> the nine of cups. It is. It is quite late here, guys. Look. Um. Yeah. It's ten to three a.m. And I had a lot of work to do today, so here I am. Here I am. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Um, yeah, it's about knowing how these two can collaborate, right? How can we make this work? And once you get to this realization, guys, uh, it's going to be quite an eye-opening moment for you, you know? I think there's going to be a lot of pressure that you take off yourself. And that's when you can actually tune into this uh, card that I've pulled before, Earth, Earth Pulsing. I can't, because of the light, I have two lights in front of me. Now I'm going to make it happen. Here we go. Here we go. You can see it a little bit. See, this person is like they're laying on the water, right? They are so light that they like, I become one with nature. I become one and I'm very grounded. So for you, I think that period of that understanding and that transition yes it might feel intense but the moment you allow yourself to be who you are acknowledging what's working for you and what's keeping you um, away from your best potential is gonna be a very powerful moment what is around the corner pile number three What is around the corner? Um, it's what is up, pile three? Let me know because I'm pulling another card and we have indolence card come come through. See that? Mm, you can't. See? You're really not happy with something in your life, or you're really fighting with yourself here, and that is not helpful. Maybe you overpressure yourself. If you know that something or someone needs to go, you know what to do next, right? I think we're gonna end this reading with a description of losing your grip card. I'm gonna pull out the uh, book and we're gonna read about it. What is happening? But I like seeing Eight of Cups here. Ah, yes. I like seeing Eight of Cups here, though, because you are leaving this um, this place of heaviness. I'm, I'm going to explain it that way for you. Feeling heavy or if you felt like you failed at something before or if you're failing, um, it's saying you are leaving that understanding. But for you, it's a lot to do about... Um, thought process here right for a lot of you obviously this is going to be action too but look eight of cups together with uh, seven of pence in this deck it's a failure card which is very interesting I don't think I've ever seen it that way but um, I read this deck the way it is I'm no longer thinking that I'm failing sayonara or I'm not allowing something or someone to fail me right let's pull one more number seven is quite important here yeah because it does seem like you guys are going to start getting clarity on what was an illusion before what seemed like an illusion before and what is really a reality remember how i talked about that girl in the mirror she sees herself one way and other people see her um, in a very different light and she's like, but I can't see what they see So the illusions that you might have created for yourself, right? They're being cleared especially if that illusion or that understanding or maybe behavior somehow have kept you a little bit delusional for some time now I'm pretty sure this file is gonna be trigger uh, tr triggering a lot a lot of people, but hey you know I must tell you what I see here and by triggering people um, at first what can happen you know people can get angry but after some time they usually remember that oh, damn actually that was something that I should have looked at you know and obviously if that's not your palace it's not your palace it's simple as but um, let me pull a message for you from one other deck Anything else that 
you need to know about pile number three and then we're going to be waiting about losing your grip cards anything else that you need to know about we have oh this came from another pile these piles are quite synced i wonder if someone is watching all piles now it says take note here you go and then it says your answers are being given to you quieten external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered um, zero yourself ground yourself that's when you're going to be able to hear your intuition and your gut feeling talking to you now let me pull a book out let's talk about that card and i'm going to finish this reading with that message to kind of sum it all up it says losing your grip we are cyclic beings and mother earth teaches us how to be human every day with the coming and going of the tides and the seasons if you are clinging to anything you are resisting the natural flow of who you are the things we cling to are so often those we most need to let go of the food the substances the relationship the job the people pleasing the things we cling to often cover up our most vulnerable space the part we are most afraid to leave empty the part we guard and don't let grace into but by keeping that space covered with something that doesn't serve us or clinging to it for fear of it not staying of its own accord we prevent ourselves from receiving the things that will a course in miracle tells us whatever we leave empty grace will fill and the buddha said you can only lose what you cling to indeed both are true if this card appears you are being called to find the courage to loosen your grip and give up control to release your coping mechanisms and leave space for grace and God to enter, to surrender all that feels dense to the divine. Loosening your grip doesn't mean that what you are clinging onto will go away. It may or it might stay, but you can be sure that what it is for you will find you. And you will breathe easier knowing that you have shifted from relying on your own strength to surrendering to the grace of life. So I hope that this was helpful, pile number three. That was quite a powerful message, I must say. So I hope it finds those who need that. And tribe, love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm going to sleep. It's 3 a.m. here. Bye.